a pleasant evening. Jason from Auto Appraise, 1976 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Very, very nice example of an original car. Getting ready to take it out on a test drive. Got it up on very professional looking jack stands there and we'll get to it in a minute. The owner's gonna help me run the top down and put the parade boots on. Phoenician ivory is the color you're looking at. And this convertible top was apparently changed out in the day because code 52R was a blue-green top, which probably would have looked hideous. That rear panel underneath the electric heated glass has been changed. The body is in really, really nice shape. This is a harness that a engineer makes and it improves the reliability of the fuel injection. I wanted to show that real quickly because there are some doubts about whether or not these fuel injected cars are reliable. This one happens to be. Right now we're at an engine temp of 81 degrees and an outdoor temp of 81 degrees. So the car's nice and cool. It's been sitting here uh, relaxing while I was doing photographs. We'll take a peek underneath it. Get it down and take it out for a ride. First of all, the chrome and the bumper fillers are all in very, very nice shape. Bumper fillers have been restored on this car. The grill's in really good shape. All the bright work and trim uh, shows nicely for original. Nothing's been replated. There's a little bit of minor pitting on the marker light bezels. That might be the strongest amount of patina or pitting on the trim. And you can see the reflection still very, very good on all of the pieces. Color keyed uh, hubcaps are black, not Phoenician ivory. Uh, mirror, windshield trim, all polished nicely. Original door handles are in very good shape. Didn't find really ev any evidence of overspray. The seams are splitting back here where the top is shrinking a little bit. Got good lighting in here to show you the belt moldings are really nice all the way around the car. They look like that. Not much to complain about in the rear of the car regarding the trim in the same fashion. Power trunk pull down works nicely and power release. This panel's not broken, they often are. And the bumper rubber strips, they have that typical color fade, which is often the case, but they show well. Car's really nice and straight down both sides. Good lines, brand new P235, 75R15, wide whites. They have less than a thousand miles on them. You can still see the nibs and the tread. I'll get my digital paint meter out as usual in a second here. The hood insulator is in very good shape. All of the frame structure when you look down uh, from above, everything is in very, very good condition. Light scale and surface rust, typical. The engine's never been pulled apart and uh, other than uh, tune-up work. Inner fenders are in really nice shape. Antifreeze is full and green. Oil is nice and clean, recently changed. Transmission fluid is, uh, here I'll show it to you there. Pink and proper. The suspension's in very good shape. You can see the CV boots are not ripped up probably have been serviced in the past. Lower frame member engine supports in good shape. The subframe is uh, nice and solid. No evidence of compression damage on these front rails.
shot at the uh, floor pans there. I can get that from the side as well. There's over 300 still photos of the vehicle. Original catalytic converter still in place. From the cat back, it appears that the exhaust system was changed. Cars is 41,000 original miles. I'm going to go ahead and drop the hood and pull it out while I'm doing a digital paint. we got to get it coming off those blocks. Yeah. So no pause in the video, you get to hear a cold start. system is working. All the brake lights and headlights were tested. Turn signals are working. The markers, side marker lights are working without any issue. Drop it. Yeah, go ahead and drop it down, please. As far as any flaws to talk about on the car, there's a small paint chip right here. It is uh, very, very small. There's a little bit of an Audi, a little bit of an Audi dent down there in the dog leg of the quarter panel. Pretty hard to see. Scissor top action works nice. And there's a painted to match parade boot. It's gonna snap on there. A little better look at the car outside. Very, very small paint chip right there. The wheel tubs are in really nice shape. I've got still photos of all of those. The windshield's in excellent condition. The only evidence is one small stone pack right here. And just to give you the size of that, it's, it's pretty tiny. Otherwise, the windshield's in great shape. All the side glasses are original. We just ran all those windows down. Digital paint meter readings show nicely on the car 1.8, 2.3, 1 1.5 on the hood. Pretty much that way all the way around. 1.4, 0 0.8. Save you the trouble of having me repeat this over and over. It's this way all the way around the car. 1 1.2. 2.3. 2.3. You pop that trump button too, please. and issues under the carpets. Both both the full floor mats are in place still. Original ivory gold metallic, I think, or something similar to the that color combination for the interior. A couple hairline cracks in the steering wheel. The clock is reported to work on and off. And uh, let's see if it's on or it's off. It's off. 
Courtesy lights are all working on the doors underneath the dash and back behind seats. Original Cadillac mat is in place. Period spare, Uniroyal, probably never been on the ground. Jack and tools, everything complete. Lights working as it should. The uh, skin lips are nice and clean, very little oxidation. Original VIN stickers in place, door rubbers show nicely. Both doors look just like that. Doors close nicely with two fingers of copper. Headlights are working, turn signals are working, uh, wipers are working. 41,683 original miles. One of the, uh, one or more of the tones of the horn are out. Gonna have some increased wind noise coming. Beeping is my paint gauge going off in my pocket. Fuel gauge is working. Check that when we get back. 41684. The radio comes on and the power antenna goes up. You want to give that a try, but the radio is making just a amp noise. There's the antenna. Sure, turn it up so we hear some hear some static. working on 
do a final uh, starting to get low on daylight. Air conditioning fan blowers work, all the controls are controlling, but the AC itself, we're not sure if we're blowing cold there just yet. Cruise control is working. Convertible top you saw go up and down. Rear defog works. Got a little bit of fan noise. in really, really nice, original, well-survived condition. If you're interested in this car, Jason Phillips, 810-691-2664. Car is up for sale on the internet as well as advertised locally, so uh, if it's something that interests you, you want to see this in your garage, give me a call. Thanks a lot.